Ladies and gentlemen, I am back and it's time to give you my predictions for yes, this year's um, WWE Summer Slam. We have nine matches this year. Um, we have four women's matches, two non-title matches, five title matches, and Logan Paul. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's begin, but before... I be in this video. Um, we're just gonna um, have a 10 second bell salute to um, Pee Wee Holman, Paul, also known as Paul. Um, yeah, just Paul because I can't remember his last name. But, anyways, we're gonna have a 10 bell salute of. Pee Wee Holman. Alexa, please set alarm to 10 seconds. 10 seconds, starting now. Alexa, stop. And let the video begin. So, the first match is going to be we. Rhea Ripley vs. Raquel Gonzalez for the World Heavyweight Women's Championship. Um, it's too soon to get rid of the title of the Women's World Heavyweight Championship off of Rhea Ripley because I'm pretty sure they want to um, make sure that the Judgment Day get all the titles. Kind of like what they did with the Bloodline. And I'm pretty sure but yeah, do the same thing in the future with um the LWO. But anyways, I'm predicting that um Rhea Ripley is going to um win the championship, but who knows? Um EOCI has the women's money in the bank championship. I mean briefcase, which is kind of like a championship. Um, EOCI still has the Money in the Bank briefcase, and she might hash it in to either Asia or Rhea Ripley. Or in case, um, uh, Hale Gonzalez wins the match, even though I'm pretty sure she's not going to win the match. And I'm predicting that Rhea Ripley's going to retain. Now it's time for the SmackDown match. For the WWE Undisputed, even though even though that's not undisputed, Women's Championship. Um, I'm pretty sure that WWE wants to make sure that Asuka gets um, her winning streak back. It'll be um, some undefeatable once again. And plus, it's too soon that um, Asuka to let, lose that championship. Because she already won it like two months ago. So I'm pretty sure that Asuka is going to retain the championship. Um, Bianca... She, in my opinion, she needs to work on her promo skills. Because most of her promo skills are not really that good in my opinion. And Charlotte, well... We just don't want to see Charlotte beat her dad's winning streak anytime soon. Now it's time for another women's championship match, such as Becky Lynch versus Twish Stratus. Becky Lynch is going to win, but I wish they should have put like a stipulation around that match. Um, because we already seen Becky Lynch fought, um... Twist Stratus and Backlash and at um kind of money in the bank. But I'm pretty sure there should have been like a stipulation around this match. If I had to choose what kind of stipulation that would be, it would probably be a still cage match because um Zoe Zoe Stout, yes. Because um Twist Stratus has Zoe Stout in you know, a and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, 
that Elanch does not want Twist Twice to get help from home. And for the last Divas match of the night, well, yet not yet, Shayna Baszler versus Ronda Rousey in a MMA Woes match. If I, I, um, if, um, that's actually what's going to happen. Ronda Rousey's going to win the match because Ronda Rousey is more popular than, um, Shayna Baszler, so I'm I'm putting my money on Ronda Rousey, and um, oh, I forgot to give you my winner for the other, my prediction for the other match, um, Becky Lynch, but seriously, Ronda Rousey's gonna win this match. All right, now time for the men's. We have five men matches to get through, so let's begin with Logan Paul. Versus Wit is Wit is Shay. Wit is Shay's gonna win. Logan Paul stinks. Moving on. Nah, I'm just teasing you. Yes, I'm predicting that Wit is Shay's gonna win this match. Because, um, I did not like Logan Paul. But there might be a possibility of what they do with, um, Wit is Shay. We have, like, Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman is his tag team partner. What if Braun Strowman shows up? in the middle of the match to beat up Logan and Paul. He should probably bash his lights too because um, Logan's, well, ah, Logan and Paul is supposed to go to a, a novel TV show after SummerSlam and he wanted to be the first one to be in this match on SummerSlam. So yeah, I'm predicting that, I'm predicting that Wit is Shay's gonna win because Braun Strowman is gonna um, bash Logan and Paul's legs. And if Logan Paul's brother shows up, do the same thing for him. So yeah, what is Shay's gonna win? Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. This is a hard one because I really like Brock Lesnar and I really like Cody Rhodes. On one hand, I think that Cody Rhodes should should win this match because they keep on building him up of um him trying to we gain a championship after what happened in WrestleMania this year. But on the other hand, I would like to see Brock Lesnar win because I'm pretty sure after this match, Brock, Brock Lesnar is going to take a break. But it would be awesome if he beats um, Cody Rhodes and... Yeah, that's about it. But... In my opinion, I'm pretty sure that you'll make Cody Rhodes win this match to make him be strong if he decides to um, fight for the Ivor WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, I'm going in for WWE Championship from now on because that's what it is. It doesn't make any sense to be how it be undisputed championship. But anyways, Cody Rhodes is going to win this match. Now it's time for our three title matches. Title match number one. Drew McIntyre versus Yantha. It's too early to give the title belt to Drew McIntyre because um, Drew McIntyre just came back from an injury. And plus most people think that Drew McIntyre was leaving wrestling. I mean, to be more specific, WWE. There have been rumors of Drew McIntyre who might be going to AEW. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Young Fool's going to retain the championship. Plus, I'm pretty sure they want Young Fool to tie Roman Reigns of how long they can hold the championship. Because Roman Reigns has, like, a higher title, um, ranking than anyone else in today's era. Um, the one who has the most title reigns in WWE in days is basically Bruno San Martino. So I'm pretty sure um, they want Roman Reigns to have the exact same weight in as him. So I'm pretty sure that Youngful is going to try to beat either Roman Reigns um, what you're of how many title holds that he might have. So I'm predicting that Youngful is going to win. Now it's time for the World Heavyweight Championship match, which is going to be 
Um, Finn Balor versus Seth Freaking Rollins. Uh, this one's a hard one too, because in one hand, Seth Rollins is a really good leader in Monday Night Raw, and plus he's the face of Monday Night Raw. On the other hand, Finn Balor is the leader of the Judgment Day. And I'm pretty sure they want Finn Balor to win the World Heavyweight Championship because like I said with Rhea Ripley's match that um, we want Judgment Day to have all the title belts. Kind of like the Bloodline did. So I'm predicting that Seth Rollins is going to retain. Now there might be a possibility of Damian Priest uh, might be winning that championship. But who knows? Triple H did say that all titles are on the line, such as NXT Championship and the No Familia Championship. Same thing with the WWE title and United, United States Championship and the Intercontinental Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, so yeah, I'm predicting that Seth Rollins is going to win, but he might get his butt hit by Damian Priest. Oh, in the other match, Young Fu's gonna win, and he might get his butt hit, and his title taken away by Damian Priest. Because Damian Priest is money in the bank. And our uh, last match of the night for SummerSlam is Jay Uso versus Roman Reigns in a tribal combat! I was trying to sing the theme song to Mortal Kombat. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this match is gonna be a no holds barred match, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an extreme rules match as well. So, um, I'm predicting that Solo is going to interfere to beat up Jay, Jimmy's gonna interfere to beat up Roman. Both men are gonna face down on the floor. Um, Solo's gonna beat up Jay with ch chairs. Same thing with Roman. We're gonna see a few tables, a few ladders, sledgehammers, everything. But sadly, I don't think Jay Uso's gonna be winning because it's too early for him. Plus, I don't, I don't see him as world championship material. Not yet, but they are saying that Jay might win because of um, how the story's going, such as the Uso splitting up with Roman and Solo, so they can do the other things in SmackDown and in the WWE. But we never know what happened back in WrestleMania that we thought that Cody Rhodes was going to beat Roman, but he didn't anyway. Yeah, that's the same thing going you know, to happen with Roman Reigns versus Jay Uso. We all know that we want Jay Uso to win, but it's not going to happen. Jay's not going to win this match. So I'm predicting that Roman Reigns is going to retain the world, I mean, the WWE championship and yeah those are my predictions for SummerSlam 2023 um, let me know in the comments of who do you think wants to is going to win in SummerSlam 2023 um, like comment subscribe um, I don't know what I'm doing next time but um, please stay update to this channel. I might be talking about, um, I don't know. It's been a while since I did a movie review, so, so I might be doing that next time. <laughs> Sorry, I have the hit yups. I had the hit yups. Anyways, like, yell, and subscribe. Always be a champion. And rest in peace, Pee Wee Holman.